and welcome again to Watch My Pipe. My name is Kurt. Thanks, as always, for tuning in. Today we're doing the full review for Samuel Gawith's Sam's Flake. But first, today I am wearing my Rolex Milgoss Z Blue. So, this was an interesting week. Um, I took quite a bit of time trying to smoke this blend the best way I really knew how. I tried a couple different methods. I did the folding stuff, uh, broke up a couple flakes, let it sit out. Ultimately, I ended up breaking up the entire container here. So, as you can see, smoked a good bit of it here, trying many, many different ways, including letting this air out for close to two days. I didn't time it exactly, but it's still damp. And I'm not sure if that has anything to do with my experience this week, but let's just jump into it here. Um, we won't be doing a smoke in the garage, and there's a good reason. And let's get into that now. So it's Sam's Flake. It's made by Samuel Gawath, part of Gawath, Hogarth & Company. It is listed, interestingly, as a Virginia on most sites, but on tobaccoreviews.com, it's listed as an Oriental. As always, I do my due diligence. I try to go out and get as much information as I can on any particular blend or the manufacturer. And there wasn't much to be seen. There's a little bit of information out there, but it appears as though Sam O'Gawith is in the process of making a new website. But here nor there, aside from some of the information I was able to pull from some of the forums, there really isn't that much uh, out there other than looking up and knowing a little bit about the town Kendall. But the age of this tin is unknown. I bought this back in April uh, from smokingpipes.com. Again, it contains Turkish Orientals and flu-cured Virginias. There is an additional flavoring from Tonkin Bean, Tonkin Bean, and we'll get into that in a second. And of course, it is a flake cut. It cut itself when I received it, as you saw in the uh, first impressions video. It was very saturated. Um, I'm, I'm used to Samuel Gawith blends overall being damp, um, but this was far and beyond. It, it, it was sticky damp, and I'm, I'm sure it probably had a little something to do with the, um, the uh, Tonkin Bean here too. Um, but as I go through this, in, in no way or no means is this uh, review going to be uh, beating up on Samuel Gawth. It's just this one blend. For those that don't know me, I probably rank Samuel Gawth as one of the, uh, or at least my favorite blenders out there. I have full Virginia Flake. I love Skiff Mixture. This is probably about 100 grams out of, I probably got another 500 down in the cellar. And Squadron Leader is by far my favorite. You know, here's uh, probably about good uh, 60 or 70 grams in here. I, I just put a brand new tin in here. Plus, I've got boxes. Well, this is from February of 2019 of this stashed away. I, I love Samuel Goth, and it, it was quite disappointing. So let's get into the rest of the review here. Where can you find this? Um, pretty much... If it's available, most places carry some form of this, but currently right now, when I record this video here, when I was looking it up, it was only available in two places in 50 gram tins. I struggled to find even if it was available in 250 gram bags like this one here for Squadron Leader. Um, so it might be out there, I just couldn't find any, but at smokingpipes.com. It's available for $13.20 for the 50 grand tin. And then again, my favorite place to shop, Watch City Cigar, has it for $13.99. As far as the pipes that I use this week, what did I smoke it in? 
I kept it to a couple of the similar pipes uh, because this is an aromatic. Uh, I don't like smoking aromatics in some of the other pipes that I have. So started off with the first impressions with the Nording Ben Bulldog Smooth and then the Falcon Hunter Smooth Plymouth HIS Ben Billiard. Seven Alien Roma 673 KS and the IMP Meerschaum Poker. Before I hop into the actual ratings here, I went back and took a look at some of the comments from the first impressions and some other similar blends. Samuel Goweth does make the 1792 Flake. I actually had that in my cart last week going into this week when I put uh, an order in and I took it out. Um, the one thing I want to clarify uh, with that Tonkin bean is it smells amazing. That was the one thing that was great about this, that I even said in the first impressions, the overall room note is incense-like. I, I, I really do wish, you know, I might put this aside, I might just burn this as an incense, to be honest with you, because it smells amazing. But this is different than what you find in Squadron Leader or Skiff Mixture that has the Lakeland essence. It's that floral, soapy, uh, essence and smell uh, and even taste. Some people just don't like that, which is understandable. I happen to like it. It's it's it's, it's very nice um, for me. And everyone's palate's different. But the Tonkin bean is something completely different. It is a bean that's shaved down and added as a topping to this, and it gives it kind of a vanilla or cinnamon-like quality. So overall. I felt that this has the potential to be something good or even great, but I don't know if it was maybe just a tin I got. I just couldn't get it to work right for me. So let's get into the full ratings. Overall, the presentation is quite simple. It's part of the Kendall Mayer's collection. Um, you have St. James Flake. Make sure I got everything right here. The Westmoreland mixture and the Chocolate Flake. Um, I'm sure I will probably try some of the others in the future, uh, because like I said, the 1792 Flake is the only other Samuel Goth blend that has the Tonkin Bean. Everyone else has something different about it. But the moisture in the tin, again, was wet and very sticky. I couldn't even pull a full flake out without it sticking to another one and falling completely apart. And again, that tin note, I'll open this and crack this up again. It's got that vanilla and cinnamon and almost an almond smell, if you will. But overall characteristics, lighting it up, I mean, I, I joke when I say this, but pull up a chair. If this isn't dried out properly, and, and you kind of saw in the first impressions where I kind of uh, jokingly fast forwarded through lighting the pipe, it took forever. Um, even during the week when I let this set out, I let it set out for almost two days and I just couldn't get it dry to the point where it lit properly. The first half of the bowl has that vanilla and cinnamon spice quality. And then once you get into the second half of the bowl, the Virginia start making a strong appearance, but it just, for me, was just unsmokable. It didn't matter which pipe I used. It was something I couldn't enjoy at all during the week, and it was, it was quite disappointing. The overall flavor, I gave it a medium. And again, the taste is not the Lakeland essence. It is the Tonkin bean. It's that vanilla or cinnamon flavor, not the floral essence. So if you do want to give this a try, know that it doesn't have that floral aroma and taste to it. It's not going to taste like soap, like you might get with Squadron Leader or with Skiff Mixture. The nicotine was mild, and I'd even go as say as very mild. I couldn't even detect any hint of nicotine in this blend. Um, the complexity was quite boring. Like I said, you, know, you get that initial vanilla taste. It comes and goes. It was almost kind of like just sucking on a stick almost. And I hate to say that. And like I said, I, I don't want this to come across as I'm beating up Samuel Goth, but this was just not an enjoyable blend. The overall burn rate 
was outside of being very hot, it was really kind of hard to measure. I couldn't really get a good cadence going because I tried sipping on it. I tried puffing on it hard, you know, relighting, relighting, relighting. It, it was just a very complicated blend all week for me to try and enjoy and really get a good sense for. The bowl moisture was, I'd even say borderline excessive because you'd get about halfway down the bowl and even with trying this out for days at a time, it turned into a hard, sticky clump of tobacco that just wouldn't light. I'd stick it with different um, pipe cleaners to try and loosen it up, take a pick with it, everything I could think of to try and loosen it up. And it really just became a hard plug. But again, for what it's worth, the room note on this was absolutely enjoyable. Every time I did smoke a pipe, or at least attempt to smoke a bowl, every time I came back outside and got a whiff, again, it had a very, very nice, incense smoky, vanilla smell to it. It was very nice. Overall, I did give this two stars because, like I said, I, I do believe... This does have the potential to be something great, but overall as a tobacco, like I said, the mechanics of it, and hopefully maybe it was just this tin. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to let this hang in the cellar for a little bit of time. Who knows? I might try to pull this back out again sometime, but as a tobacco, I only gave it one star, uh, and, and it's a shame because, like I said, I like all these other blends from Samuel Goweth. And it was a little disheartening because I ended up purchasing a couple tins ahead of time, expecting to have a, a great experience and really enjoy the Tonkin because I do like that flavor. But uh, overall, like I said, I really truly believe that it has the potential to be something good. Perhaps if I open another tin, I'll have a different experience. But like I said, overall, it, it was a little bit disappointing for this week. So moving forward next week and really tomorrow for the first impressions, I was uh, going through the uh, actual several boxes of different tobaccos that I've yet to try. And uh, I got an inspiration this week actually from Smoking Pipes. They had a uh, special going on with uh, Sutcliffe. I actually just checked this morning and I guess they either sold out but it was on uh, crumble cake so I actually have here a tin of crumble cake English number one so I'll be cracking that open tomorrow and doing a first impressions on this and then smoking it during the week I am an English fan again if, if you've had the opportunity this is by far the bar that has been set. Um, this is probably the best English mixture out there. So I can't wait to give this a try. I am an English fan. I love Latakia. So I'm really excited to give this a try. As always, if you like these videos, give them a thumbs up. It's unfortunate that I had to put this video out and I, I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Um, but I look forward to tomorrow and moving to the crumble cake. Thanks again, everyone. Have a great weekend. It's sunny here in uh, South Jersey. Uh, hope everyone has a safe weekend. Enjoy the sunshine. Hopefully it's sunny where you are. I know it's sunny here. So enjoy yourself. Have a great weekend. I'll talk to you soon.